All right, guys, so here's the deal. So far, so good. So far, we have figured out how to permanently kill Igor, or I guess I should say at least make him go to the party so that we can kill it, do a two-for-one kill. We've also figured out what? how to permanently kill Frank by using the firework uh, uh, booby trap, making the boat with the, the flaps kill him with his own fireworks. So that's some good progress so far today. Now we're going to work on Harriet and try to figure this shit out. So this Juliana is basically camping out, probably waiting for me to hack that. And likely just going to wait around forever. I don't know why she's not hunting me actively because she has not come over here at all. Weird, but whatever, I guess. I'm just trying to see if there are any items or anything. I guess not. I guess we got to go to that other building. It's been a while since I, I was here. Oh, shit. I say, it's been a while since I've been here. So, I'm trying to remember how to move around this building safely. Now that I have stealth with the Aether, this is going to be way easier, I feel. Okay. Anyway, Anching. Anching Forever had asked this on Xbox. I think it is... Isn't this on PC? I think it is on PC. So, I think it's PC, PS4, PS5. That's it. But it's not on it's Xbox. Not on Is he floating? He is. Try to kill them one by one if I can. Once the room's clear, um, then I can do other stuff. They're alerted, but they don't see me. Oh, this is dumb. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling until I can get the kill on them. They're just kind of standing over there. Oh, they went in the room. They did. Did I get them? I don't know if you shoot through the door or not. Apparently, I got shot from behind. I don't know how. But I did take damage from behind, which makes no fucking sense. Can't shoot them through the windows or nothing. They don't let you. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. There's the gas, but I'm immune to gas. I could go down there if I want. I'm completely immune. Yeah, I'm fine. See, zero damage. It says gunfire ignites gas. I guess I shot in gas, and so I died, because I fired in gas. Yeah. That's how I get to Harriet, but the gas killed me. Which is really stupid, because there's no gas in that room. Look. 
Oh my god. I guess I gotta do that again, but I can't use. I can't. I have to just run up and fight them with melee. I guess so. Until I get out of the gas. Use nails? See, I, the problem with the nails is they're not accurate. They suck ass. The nail gun is not accurate at all. You have my attention. Okay. No, he takes no damage from the gas, but I have a, a special thing to equip that he's immune to it. Which is dumb because he still coughs. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Harriet inherited a fortune when her family died. Someone she admired stole it from her share by share. Oh, that was her. Oops. Juliana's coming. I killed Harriet. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was her. I can maybe use this as a booby trap. Let's we'll see if Juliana comes in here. <laughs> I'm just kind of chilling. I'm hoping Juliana will come in here and I can kill her. I had no idea that was Harriet. Killed her with the fucking nail gun. So once you can get through the gas, this she's easy to kill. That's what you're supposed to do, get the ability to go through the gas to kill her. See, Juliana can't breathe the gas, so she'd have to come from a different angle, I think. Here's the office. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of intel here. Chaos theory complete. I hear a ton of noise, but I don't know where Juliana is. It's making me nervous. <laughs> yes, Juliana is another player that invaded. Okay. So, I mean, I could just leave and then hack and get out. We know that Juliana was nearby. We saw the motion indicator. But they could literally just be waiting right outside that door as soon as I try to leave. I don't know. I'll have to see. See, she can't go through the gas like I could. You hear that? That could be Juliana coughing. I think it is. I think that's Juliana down there coughing. I mean, I'm not sure. You think she would die from damage over time, no?
Nice! Holy crap. An exemplar wimpin' trinket. And another Nexus upgrade. Wow. I don't need that. I already have it. Well, that worked out. I'm gonna get a, du a double upgrade. A double Nexus upgrade. Wow, that worked out super well because she went down there looking for me and got stuck in the gas and gave her herself away. Completely gave her location away. Wow. So, wow, did my game plan work? Having this, this thing, this charm or whatever to make you immune to the gas 100% was effective. That was awesome, actually. So let's take a look now. What plot lines do we got going here? Zoom out. Okay. My only shot at Harry is during her morning gathering. Surrounded by crazy ass cultists, the best way to start the day. So I have to kill her in the morning. Yeah. It's the only way. She uh, Apparently she doesn't go to the party at night. So this is complete too. So in the morning... The first thing we need to do is do, go here and sabotage Frank's stuff and then go and kill her. So that's the morning routine, okay? Apparently, we'll be able to kill these two together at night at the party. So that's four now. We already know how to kill four of the visionaries. Now we got to figure out the other three. Juliana, I'm assuming you just kill during the day when she invades, right? DC says, here's the Juliana IQ. Colt Vaughn is so cool. Juliana will die here. She will not beat Colt. There you go. Thank you, DC. That is another good one. <laughs> All right. So what do we have left? We have the party, right? And we have the Charlie stuff, which we can't do till noon. All right. So I think that's what we'll do next. We'll do the Charlie stuff at noon. But I have to get out of here. I have to hack the turret thing. I have to hack that, and then I can leave. I hear an enemy over here. Below me. The fuck is this thing? Look at that! Huge! They apparently killed the giant creature. What the fuck? Wait, where is it? Right there. This is where that guy's playing guitar. Here it is. Okay. Alright, now I can leave. Nice! Got the fuck out of there. Nice! So depending on how your runs go, this game could be really long or actually really short. Because, like, for example, some of these runs I'm getting two things done at once. Which is excellent. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So we've got, in the morning, we got to set up the fireworks to kill Frank and then kill Harriet in that gas. We go under the gas, go up and, and kill her that way. That's two down right there. The other two we're going to kill at night. We know that. And then I think the Charlie thing, what we need to do is set up the meeting between Charlie and that other girl who we haven't even run into yet and kill them in the same room. And once all that's done, then we go, then the party and then Juliana. So I think we're, we're we are making major progress here. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so good stuff. Yeah, all in order. My only shot at Harriet will be in the morning, which we know. And now the biggest hit, the fryworks to kill Frank. Nice. How many people do you have to kill? Seven. Wow, look at all this shit I got. Whoa. 
Perforator. Bullets will tear through enemy ranks, as satisfying as it sounds. That does sound really good. That's what I'm going to want to keep. Mine own. Hack mines. Turn them against your enemies or detonate them remotely. Thanks, Mr. hack -a jig Oh, you can use your remote control to hack mines. Oh, that's interesting. Is it break soon? No, we still got about 40, 45 minutes before break, everybody. Just so you know. Okay. Um, why does Cole only look five years older than his daughter? Because there's some time loop mechanic where Cole isn't aging. That's what we were saying. Like, he left the island and he came back, but apparently he hasn't aged or something weird like that. Yeah. Do I prefer the gunplay of this to Resident Evil 8? What? They're not even the same kind of game. The gunplay's not even comparable. Alright, so now what we're gonna do... Oh, here we go. We're gonna have two cutscenes play. I crossed French wires. <laughs> Poor bastard doesn't know what's coming. So we gotta have him kill himself in, at night, and then we're gonna go get his slab to upgrade our slab. Looks like Harriet plays by the protocol's rules. I've got exactly one shot at her. Her morning sermon in Carl's Vague. Okay. So what we're gonna do is a few things. First of all, I wanna keep the two upgrades that I have. One, what were the two upgrades? I'm trying to remember. Uh, slab upgrades. How much do they cost? They cost 10,000. That's not bad at all, because I have over 20. So I'm going to keep them both. So first of all, there's this one. Influence. Enemies affected by Nexus spontaneously create connections to others nearby. So if I hit someone with Nexus, they're going to auto-link to enemies near them. And if I kill that one enemy, all the enemies will die. That's excellent. Can I put my camera on the other side? I can if you guys really want me to. If it's bothering you. Is it is it in the way? If it's in the way, I'll move it. <laughs> yes, lost judgment tomorrow, Guts. That should be good. You guys want me to move it to the left? I'll move it to the left. If you feel that'll be better. I don't know what's better for this game. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, um, so I, that's good. Now, what is the other one? Parasite? When someone is affected by Nexus takes damage, you regain health. Wait, they're both Nexus upgrades? They are. Oh, my God. They're both Nexus upgrades. So, this is sick. This is actually really sick because it makes it so that Nexus will get group kills and then you get your health back when you kill them with Nexus. I'm going to get them both. Infuse. There you go. Holy crap, that's amazing. Now, there was a really good weapon trick yet. Yeah, Perforator. Bullets will tear through enemy ranks. I definitely want that. That's 5,000. Um, is there anything I absolutely don't want and I want to break down? Sure shot. Yeah, it's the regular sure shot. That I'll sacrifice because I got the better sure shot. See? Uh, also, I had a bunch of character trick. Oh, my God. We definitely got to break some of these down. Um... Let's see here. I need steel lungs to get to Harriet, so that has to stay forever. Your mines and grenades provide greater healing and zero harming. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Hard headed? Wait a minute. Didn't I save that one? I shouldn't then. Mine own. Hack mines and turn them against your enemies. Oh, I definitely don't need spring heal. I already have it. Eternalist aim for the body, but your bullets can still hit your head, so be prepared. Hard headed. So basically, it makes it so that um, headshots don't work or something. I guess that's what it's saying. Well, now Opal says you're going to cover some of the UI. I should move it back to the right. It was fine over there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, all right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm listening to all the wrong people, apparently. <laughs> okay. We'll put this back here, and I'm not moving it again. Okay. Do I like the game environments? They're all right. Like, I do like how the one's at the bay. One's in a major city. Uh, they don't seem super varied, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, completely different locations or anything. Um, regenerate health faster? I thought I already had that. I'm going to get rid of hard-headed. 
When you're out of power, slabs efficiently draw from your health instead. No, I never want to lose health. You regenerate power more quickly. Ah. Hmm. I have 8,000, so I can keep one now. Oh, man. What do I want to keep? What do we got here? Mind leech? Enemies suffer damage and lose more power when hit, insult, and injury. I don't really care about that one. Increase the range at which your weapon is accurate. That's good. Aim down sight six less time. That's good. Accuracy of aim shots increased across the board. That's good. These are all good. So I'm going to infuse these then. Yeah, in fact... Now I have 9,000. I'm going to save all three of these. So infuse. 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 Yeah. Nice. And I'll see if I, if I want to save those, I'll have to get more residual. Okay. Now I can fully equip all, all stuff now. Right? Um... So for this next, I don't need steel lungs anymore. That was only for the Harriet part, so we can get rid of steel lungs. Let's do... Let's do you will regenerate power more quickly? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. And then for the weapons themselves... You can't put two of the same drink. Oh, no, it's the same one. I see. Uh, let's do this gun. Let's put a bunch of stuff on it. So let's do aiming down the shites takes less t accuracy increased. Increase the range at which it's assuming and perforator. And for the sniper rifle, aiming down the shites takes less time. Reload speed increased. Okay. Now, man, I'm actually debating. I don't know if I should if I should keep some of these or get rid of them. Like, the stealth is so good. The stealth is so good that I think I want to keep it with me no matter what. But you can only have two different things equipped. Right now, Nexus is ridiculous. I got two Nexus upgrades, right? Two! Two! So now I can kill giant groups of enemies with this thing. So I feel like this is very useful. So maybe I want to take Nexus and Stealth. I'm going to give it a try, but it may fail because... I haven't really used Nexus effectively yet. So I don't know how good it's going to be. Okay. Would I play Simpsons Wrestling if they remastered it? I mean, maybe. I don't even know what it is. Simpsons Wrestling? Guys, if, if you want to talk to me, please tag me. Because a lot of people are not tagging me. And now I don't know if you guys are talking to me or not. You know, I see some conversations going on, but it's hard to tell if you guys are just talking to me or, you know. Ah. Okay. Am I going to play Project Eve? I have no idea. I didn't actually see the trailer for it. Okay. So, by the way, I'm going to open my door now. I really need to. It's hot as fuck in here. <laughs> it's seriously hot in here. Like, overpoweringly hot. Okay. Phew! Okay, let me open my door. Ah, and I'm gonna get air circulation. Oh. Yeah, my wife, uh, my wife went to work like 10 minutes ago, so now I can actually open the door and not fill the entire house with blaring commentary that will... Oh my god! Oh my god, the air just went out the door. It's so cool now. Ho oh, ho What a difference. Of course, here comes Jasper Kitty. I can hear the jingle jangle. Here he comes. Hi, Jasper. What were you up to? Oh, did you hear him? Ha ha ha. He talked. I guess he was up to something interesting. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on. we got about half an hour until I take a break. We're now going to go after, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name already. Uh, Charlie. Yeah. We're gonna try to kill him again, and we're gonna try to toss his, uh, his room, per se. Okay?
Local Nomad says it's lame. You cannot change your loadout during a mission. It limits how you can experiment. You're right. But I think really what the game wants you to do is plan. They want you to plan out strategically what you're doing. And that's why they have it this way. I, I agree with you. I wish on the fly, like for example, you get a good upgrade. Oh, I want to use it right away. You can't. <laughs> they don't let you. And that is, that is a little disappointing, I agree. Okay, we're going to go to up them. So we're doing the same Charlie's game thing again. Only this time we got to try to read his room to get more information. We didn't do that last time. We killed him, but we never went and looted his room. We should have. <sighs> Opal says, I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of seeing Jasper in person. Oh, he's right. He's in the window right now. He's looking out. He'll probably come over here later. If he comes over here, I'll grab him so you guys can see him. <laughs> I don't okay. think you know what real evil is. You're right, Captain. Yeah? Just wait until you see my next trick. Base yourself. Okay. Don't want you pulling a hammy. How old are you again? Fuck you. I'm no older than... 29. Oh, <laughs> you are a live one, Captain. Spicy. 29? But how the hell is she his daughter? Right? Let me go the other way. Try going this way. Stealth and Nexus. It, yeah, dude, the, the invasions are constant now. The invasions are absolutely constant. I guess when you reach a certain point in the game, the invasions just don't stop. Trying to get to his game. Remember, you got to go across the bridge to do it. There's the bridge. For me, I don't really care about killing him again. I just want the intel. So it's not a huge deal if Juliana kills me here. But it certainly would be nice if I could keep the teleportation upgrade as well. Okay. I don't think this Juliana has any clue where I'm going, so... Oh, I almost fell. Not good. Yeah, if I if I had a good teleport, I could teleport up there, but I don't. Here we go again. Same thing we did last time. Probably do the same thing as last time. Going up the different levels to get them and using stealth. So what's happening is when I kill them with this gun, it tags all the other enemies in the building. So I know where they are. That's what's happening with this gun. That's why all those indicators are popping up. Yeah. Yeah. This floor. 
right there. By laser doom, first the invader, and now this. I take it our ship was disabled in the crash. Oh. Okay, very nice. They were reenacting a scene and got fucked up. I agree, Opals. The, the art style is trippy. I like the art style of the game a lot. But it's very similar to, to Dishonored, only definitely not that same time period. It's more modern. Currently made 2-bit could evacuate the entire building in an emergency. I'm an emergency. 2-bit may not be a robot butler, but he can get the door for you. Really? I detect window entry unauthorized. Need secure. Huh. I don't think I can get up there. Darn. I wonder if I don't alert anyone if I can just sneak up and do everything without uh, any alerts and any combat, right? Just stealth kill after stealth kill? I don't know. We'll find out. I wish I could get up there, but I can't. That's way too far of a running jump. <laughs> There's no way I'm making it. The has proceeded to the planet surface. It is hunting next victim. Okay. Hey. Pretty neat. This is pinging all the enemies, so I can always know where they are. What? It went right through his head. I just killed Juliana. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was Juliana. I had no idea. What the hell happened? Holy crap. Oh no. What just happened? I'm getting shot. I don't know from where. Three or four guys above me. Oh, that was Juliana in disguise. She has the cloak mechanic. You're absolutely right. That's what that was. I didn't realize it was her. I think they're all dead. No, there's more. I hear them screaming, but I don't know where they are, which sucks. I don't know where they are. What the fuck? Other side. There's more coming. I promise I need more ammo with a regular gun. I only have 14 bullets. Oh, here we go. Good. I might just have to. Oh. Oh, that's the alarm clock. My bad. I used the wrong thing. 
I need ammo, I don't have any. Um, Oh my god. How many more are left? The thing is, I'm not after Charlie. There's the shift upgrade. Wait, was that Charlie? What the fuck? Why was there a shift upgrade? Oh, you know why? That was Ju that was Juliana's corpse, I bet. That must have been Juliana's corpse. Okay. That's <laughs> so confusing. Oh, this guys, I see there's some uh some super chats and stuff coming in. My my bad. I can't shout them out yet. I have to not die. Especially because I oh there I got my ammo back. Okay, perfect. I got my ammo back. We're getting the Charlie safe room. The invader has proceeded to the in orbit. It has left atmosphere. Stop it before it infects another planet. What's funny is I've been here before, but I guess what it is, I missed Charlie's safe room when I was here. I didn't I didn't loot it or anything like I should have. Hmm. Dead by Daylight would be a good uh, a good game for Halloween Opal. I agree with you there. Uh, people have nominated it already, by the way. The door's blocked. Ah. To the moon. Why am I on the moon? What's the point of this? I don't know. What was the point of doing this? <laughs> I don't really see anything I can do here. Oh, look! Some hidden items in here. Yeah. A weapon trinket. I guess that's all that was in here. Just some hidden items. Okay. To the moon. That is not what I wanted. Now I fell. Great. Oh, I fell. God damn it. Thought there was extra health around here, but now I don't see it. Shit. The invader has proceeded to the in orbit. It is the atmosphere. Stop it before it infects another planet. Oh wait, you can disable them if you're close enough. That's right. What's weird is I've already done this. I already killed Charlie and everything. But for some odd reason, I didn't apparently clear his room. Yeah, I see his safe room. crying. Huh? How do I take this turret out? That's how. So he's right. I never went in here. I chased him down and killed him. 
But I never found I never found a safe room here. I see. So this is probably gonna have critical intel we need to find out how to kill him later. I don't think he's in here though. No, see this is the back door? When I entered, he ran. See that? Wonder from Wenji. Charlie asked Wenji to remove part of his brain order to increase his computer's computational speed. Good morning, Charlie. Hear me when I say Black Reef loves you. You're the real badass. Oh my god, listen right to what now, he did. He, he spliced I together audio to make it sound like she was praising him. That's fucking stupid. Okay. Charlie considered a very loud theme for his game. Oh my god. The essential you, Juliana, wrote a version of the LPP so simple, even a visionary could follow it. Yeah, here we are. Bravo, bravo. Your mind is overflowing with bountiful knowledge, stranger. The hero will now reveal the greatest, the greatest. Yes, Street Fighters tonight, Gray Fox. What the fuck is she talking about? She's nuts. Please keep to the script. At least give the essentials. The automaton workshop here and the phrase Charlie Montague Restoration Project. Charlie Montague Restricting Precept. Uh, never mind, BIT will edit this out. Oh my god. Uh what's this? Remember this afternoon's long shadows? What? Fear reminisced okay, of a chilly afternoon. Like freaky on Freestad. Freestad, we did it. That's exactly what we needed. We needed to know where they're going to meet. It's in Freestad, and that's where we got to go later. Yep. Ha ha. All right. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now, if we want to get something else before we adjourn, we can actually go try to kill Charlie. Because he got away. Right? But maybe we could still find him and kill him. I don't know where he would be. I don't know where he went. I probably can't find him. Oh, that was him. What the hell? Master Charlie, dead. What a jobber. What a jobber. He literally just sat there and ate it. <laughs> okay. And now we got upgrades to shift and... Uh, yeah, I already have the stray lock. And I already have a better spiker than this, the one that tags all the enemies in the area. So we're good. We are making great progress today. Like, seriously, we've made tremendous progress in this game. We're now going to be able to find out how to double kill them. See? And after that, the only one remaining is actually the party, right? We might... Dude, we're on, like, the best run ever right now. We seriously are. All we got to do is escape now. All we got to do is leave, and uh, and then we, we'll be on our a roll. Next, we can go to Fristot and try to do the two-for-one kill. Awesome. I, I have some uh, super chats of things I need to shout out, guys. If you could wait for me to escape, I would appreciate that. Let's escape, and then I'll do all these shout outs because a bunch of, I think a bunch of super chats came in. This is Sparta! You know I was going to do that. Come on now. Or 
100k. What difficulty is this on? Whatever the default was. Yeah, whatever the default setting was, that's what I'm playing on. I'm trying to get to the thing I need to hack to leave. Why the fuck don't I see it anymore? Oh, it's way over there. This guy's so dumb, he's staring at me. Look. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if this game has difficulty levels. I just booted it up and started playing it. You know, <laughs> I don't know if you can make it harder or not. For what? Here's what I'm to understand, because I think some people are misunderstanding how the game works. So I'll explain in a second. What? Mm -hmm. The game supposedly has adaptive difficulty. Now, what that means is, if you're playing through, and you're you're killing all of the targets in one day. Like for example, right now, okay, I've killed. Well, I killed. What's her name? Harriet. She's dead. I killed Charlie. He's dead. Okay. Um. So that's two down. The more targets that you kill during a day, the higher the difficulty goes. Okay. So. If you kill only one target, it's easy. All the enemies are dumb as shit. As you kill two, they get a little bit more alert. Three, a little more. And then apparently by the time that, like, you've killed them all, so I think the way it is you kill all five, the finale is the party where you're trying to kill Igor and, um, Alexis. That should be, like, maximum challenge. All the enemies are highly alerted and everything. You see? So at least that's what I'm to understand. The more, the more the targets you kill, the harder it gets. If you don't have any targets dead, then the day's easy. So every time you restart a day, it basically resets it to easy difficulty, you see? So, Timo to me... I can actually do shout-outs now. Timo to me $4.20 and says, What do you think of Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong and Chris Pratt as Mario as the, for the Mario movie? We talked about this on pre-stream. Obviously, I joked about it, but I equate this to the 1990s where literally what they would do is recruit celebrities to play characters in movies because sadly, I don't feel that they had confidence in the substance of the movie. Right? So, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Kylie Minogue are in uh, the Street Fighter movie. Why? Because they don't feel the Street Fighter movie is very good. So, cast these people so that people will go watch the movie other than the, the, the quality of the movie. You see what I'm saying? Now, in regards to... Uh, in regards to animated movies, okay... Um, personally, what I said is I don't watch the movies for the voice actors. In fact, nine times out of ten when I watch an animated movie, I don't even know who the voice actors are. I'll recognize the voice during the movie be like, oh, I wonder if that's them. And then when the credits roll, I'll check to see. But I don't watch a movie on because of star power of a voice actor. Some people do. But, I mean, I'll be honest. I am a little bit disappointed because there's a whole giant group of people out there who are professional voice actors. People, this is what they do for a living. Whether it's for voiceovers for television or anime or animated shows or some of them even doing audiobooks and stuff like that they're they're professionals what do they do they hire other actors to do the voices because they want that star power factor so i don't know do you think maybe nintendo doesn't have confidence in a, in a mario movie they don't think that mario is mainstream enough that they need to get all these these uh named actors i don't know I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Uh, TX Shooter did a $5 super chat earlier, and I apologize I missed the TX Shooter because you saw I was in the midst of something very important. He said, that guy sounds like the Riddler from the Batman games. Oh, you mean the voice? Yeah, the, that's supposed to be the AI that plays in that game. And yeah, I agree with you. He does. He sounds kind of like the Riddler or, right, going through a loudspeaker. The cool thing is we don't ever have to go back to that game again. We now killed the guy twice. We got, you know, the upgrade, and I don't ever have to do that ever again. That's excellent. Uh, Block comments to the Super Chat says, J Jason Statham deadlifts his, his trainer leaked workouts. And then he did it again. He says, Jason Statham trains six days a week for expendables. I mean, the guy's in insane shape, at least the, you know, the few times I've seen him recently. I'm not surprised to hear this. <laughs> at all. 
The guy's crazy, right? Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna go on break in a minute. Let's. What I'd like to do is set up our new loadout and get ready for the next day. And then we're gonna do the next day, which it looks like we're investigating Fristad. Nice. Yes, this is what we're gonna do next. Search the Fristad shore. Double shift upgrade. So the first one is drop kick. Kicking during the use of shift produces a powerful and dangerous sonic boom. Look at that. And then reach. You can travel further and higher when using shift, which is what I was saying is that I felt shift didn't have enough reach. It was too short to be useful, which is why I didn't use it. Now maybe I'll start using it. Cool. All right. Excellent. We got a lot of crap. Yes, we did. We got a lot of crap. So, afternoon, and what we're going to be doing in the afternoon is we're going to be going to Fristad, I believe. Yes. Yes, absolutely, we can do that. We're going to try to look for the secret meeting place of Charlie and Fia, I believe her name is. We haven't even met Fia yet in the game. We don't even know where the hell she is. So this is going to let us know where they meet, and then we can probably kill them together in another run. Because again, if you, if you kind of go through the leads, what I think it is in the morning, you set up the firework to kill Frank. Okay. And then you kill Harriet in the noonish time. You probably booby trap Igor's, or not booby trap, but you. Uh, what's the word? You make it fail. You make his experiment fail, and because his experiment fails, now he'll be at the party at night. Okay. Then in the afternoon, you meet the two of them at Fristad, kill the two of them. Then, in the midst of all that happening, at some point, Juliana's going to invade you, kill Juliana during the invasion, and then last, kill these two at the party. And then that's the full day, right? I feel like that's the full day of, of you know, experience, and then you just go here at the end of the day, and you leave on the rocket, and that's how you beat the game. That's what I think. Uh, Timo tipped me ten dollars. Said I agree with you on voice actors. Example is in the Borderlands movie. They got Jack Black instead of the original voice actor for Claptrap, and I can't imagine Jack Black is cheaper to hire. It has to be what you're saying about star power. That's right. Just like the actual voice actor who's played Mario in all the games for like twenty five years is in the Mario movie, but he's going to be additional voices. They have Chris Pratt as Mario instead. They want the star power. They don't actually care about the voice acting sounding like it has before or anything. They just want star power. They think that's going to put more butts in seats in the, in the theaters, I guess. Block comments in another super chat. He says, Henry Cavill will be in MTG Netflix, not any gamer. You mean uh, Magic the Gathering? Interesting. I didn't even know they were doing a Netflix series of Magic the Gathering. Okay. So, what do we want to do for our new loadout? We have so much new stuff to do. First of all, you know I have to infuse these new slab upgrades, right? Those are 10,000 each. So, let's go ahead and infuse and infuse. It's very nice. You know, I, re I really want Aether to be upgraded. Who has Aether? I don't even remember who has Aether. Is it Igor? I think it is. I think I need to keep killing Igor so that way I can keep upgrading, upgrading Aether. Um, in regards to weapons, no, I don't want to keep any new weapons. I like the loadout I have, so I'm okay with that. Uh, any new character trinkets that are going to blow me away? Your maximum health is greatly increased. You're built to last. That could be good. You know, the more I keep thinking about these mine one, I don't think I want it. Hacking mines. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrifice it. Yeah, I don't think I want it. And then... Take less damage from everything I already have. Uh... Move faster while crabbing it up or when crouch is what they meant to say. Man, these are tough. See, I like Never Say Die. Spring Healed. I apparently, I broke down the wrong one, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, Backstabber. I don't care about that. Slow Fuse. Don't care about that. I already have Switch Stitch, so I don't need two of those. Don't care. Okay, get rid of that Backstabber. Right? Because I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to keep. All these, all these gray ones, I'm just going to break down. These are ones that obviously you can get back later. Very easily. So there's no reason to keep them. Now I have 1350. I, I hate the mine leech. 
Hipster. Shots from the hip have more reduced spread. I almost never fire from the hip. So what do I want to keep? Maybe I should keep... The distance over which your weapon does full damage is increased and reload speed increased. We'll do those. I'll keep those two. And then character trinkets? Let's keep... Never say die. Okay. I'll hold on to the rest for now. And then... You generate power more quickly. And... Oops, I sold the turtle one. Oops. Maximum health greatly increased. We'll do that. Maximum health greatly increased. Regenerate power quickly. I didn't save that one yet. We might, though. Okay. We'll keep those three. As for the weapons... Do I want to put anything better on these weapons? Uh... Reload speed increased. You would think the sniper rifle does full damage at a distance, so I guess I'll put this on this one, even though it doesn't really matter. Alright, that's good. There's nothing else to put on this right now that would really help it. No. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to be going to Fristad Rock to try to find out the spot where these two meet so we can do a double kill in the next run. Potentially, if we keep doing as well as we're doing... This run will be the last time I'm doing experiments. I could beat the game on the next run if things go smoothly. So let's see what happens here. Okay.